Hello everyone, this is the lecture series of hydraulic mechanics subject and the course code of this subject is 317. This is a course hydraulic mechanics subject uh, running at the BTEC 5th SEM mechanical engineering student at the Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur. And uh, today, third unit is running and uh, this is the starting of the third unit and the lecture number is 17 so all unit is divided into the 8 8 lecture means uh, per unit 8 lecture is uh, here in this course and uh, topic name is here pumps so this is a unit number third lecture unit number third first lecture but uh, in the series this is a 17 number lecture so for my introduction Myself Rahul Kumar, Assistant Professor of Department of Mechanical Engineering, Suresh Gyan Vihar University, Jaipur. And uh, what are the pumps? Pumps are very, very useful terms for the send the liquid from one place to any other place. And uh, this is a one type of mechanical device and that is used for the lifting the liquid from ground source to the upper source upper tops are are the upper top surface one place to another and this uh, this is very helpful and uh, this is provide the uh, provide the human comfort in the human life so pump is very important plays a very important role in the case of uh, petroleum industries different types of pumps are used are in hydraulic systems pumps are used to send the hydraulic fluid in the fluid lines and uh, in the pumps are divided into two groups one is the uh, hydraulic type of pump and second is pneumatic pumps means which works on the air right and uh, these pumps is used as a uh, like uh, is transfer the used as a transfer the liquid from uh, lower to higher level or these pumps also used to suck the liquids from the ground level and uh, this liquid sent to the upper top uh, floor like as a 10th floor to a second floor or any, any you want to desire this type of uh, floor so so these pumps is very useful terms in this case so we want to the we want to discuss the objectives of this pump and move to the next these are the objective of this course and by the end of this section you should be able to understand about the design of this system through which fluid will flow means uh, how many types of uh, pumps are required to and the calculation of losses through will occur when fluid flows and how many losses associated with or uh, it will occur in this uh, fluid is sent from one place to another place and uh, with the help of this study of this uh, lecture we can able to understand about the selection of suitable this device which will deliver enough energy to the find to to the fluid to overcome these losses and uh, how to reduce the losses in the pump and uh, which type of losses it will occur to send the fluid from uh, ground to top level so and what type of principle where is used so these kinds of uh, information related to the pump which will cover in this lecture and uh, the main objective of this pump is here it, it sends the liquid from ground source to the upper top surface right 
or we can say that from one place to any other place. This is the introduction of the pump and pump is a device which used to move the fluid such as liquid, gases or salaries. It increases the machinery, mechanical energy of the fluid and uh, these pumps are very or uh, we can say that the, these pumps uh, play a very important role in this which reduces the uh, difficulties of the human life. Suppose at the morning time you want to water. So this water sucks by the pumps, sucks by the pumps and this water uh, sent to the ground level to upper, upper uh, top of the portion of this house by the pump also. And, uh, Pumps uh, works are several types, just like as a, in the food industries and in uh, oil industries or in, uh, in case of any uh, hydraulic devices and these are also works as a uh, pump work, uses as a pump work. So pump are uh, different types of pumps uses and advantage are very high and some pumps have a very large amount of energy and some pump gives a very less amount of energy this is depend on the pump construction and the different types of pump working and uh, some pumps are uh, you use the mechanical energy, some pumps use the electrical energy which is, which is, which is uh, depend on the pump categories, right? And the additional energy can be used to increase the velocity of the flow, pressure and the elevation height, elevation height. So these are the main features of the pump is here. And, uh, Generally, in this structure, we talk about the pump and its type and its type. So, here is a different types of pump. Pump are basically pump convert the mechanical energy into the pressure energy or uh, which increase the or we can say that uh, pressure in the energy in the terms of the kinetic energy also it increase the uh, kinetic energy of the fluid and the the pump classification basically the pump are two types of generally these are two types of pump first one is the positive displacement pump and second one the in, second one is dynamic pump so, these are two types of pumps, these are several subdivided into the rotary and reciprocating pump, rotary and reciprocating pump and dynamic pump is also divided into two groups, first one is centrifugal and the axial pump, right? And axial compressor are used in the aircraft engine jet aircraft and uh, piston engine also and uh, which gives a one desired pressure ratio for the combustion chamber and these are the rotary rotary pumps this is the rotary pumps uh, this is uh, as a single rotor pump or the multiple rotor pump for the case of uh, rotary pump for the case of the rotary pump This is increase the energy energy with the help of the root, router with the help of a router. But in the reciprocating pump, these are the again divided into two groups. One is diaphragm and the piston plunger. Here, in your uh, reciprocating pump, just like uh, in your refrigerator, this is a very good example for this uh, reciprocating pump. 
here in the refrigerator reciprocating pumps are used and in the rotary pump just like as a your centrifugal pump uh, just like as a your uh, in a hydraulic circuit in hydraulic circuit rotary pump are used and this is a single rotor or multiple rotor are used here single rotor or multiple rotor and <coughs> these rotary and reciprocating pump these uses some kind of energy and these consumes energy while performing the mechanical work and which is moving fluid from one place to another place and uh, the dynamic pump dynamic pumps are two types first one is centrifugal pump and second one is axial pump in um, in the house uh, one pump is used uh, just to uh, send the water from lower surface to upper surface this is a centrifugal pump but axial pump uh, just like as a different types of stator and turbine it is the stator combination of stator and turbine blades uh, sorry stator and rotor blades and uh, gives a stage to stage pressurization right if uh, i want uh, 16 raised to 1 ratio of pressurization then stages are more if i want 4 to 1 ratio of pressurization then stages is less but in the case of centrifugal pump here only two stages is possible here only two stages are possible so in the third stage it gives the uh, reduction in pressure so only two stages is possible so here uh, pressure uh, um, ratio is constant for the two stages suppose one state create four raise to one and another one is a four raise to one so pressure ratio is created by this pump centrifugal pump eight raise to one but in axial pump increase the stages of this uh, axial section so it increase the ratio pressure ratio right so for this case uh, these are the different types of pump classification and uh, these all pumps operated by a many energy resources which include, include manual operation, electricity, engine, wind power, solar power or uh, different kinds of uh, hydroelectric power and many more uh, day to day life changes then uh, need need and uh, uh, need need of the pumps are more right so it is used in many industrial application suppose in case of petrol petrol pump if you go to petrol pump then then here the fuel is sent to the petrol tank to the your uh, vehicle tank with the help of pump so pump is very useful term for the daily human life first pump is here positive displacement pump for the positive displacement pumps which applies the pressure directly to the liquid by a reciprocating piston by a reciprocating device or a, here device is used as a piston or by rotating members and a positive displacement pump moves, uh, moves a fluid by repeatedly enclosing a fixed volume and moving it mechanically through the system and the pump action in a cyclic and can be driven by the piston screws gears rollers diaphragm and vanes and <coughs> And here are the different types of uses related to the positive displacement pump. So it can handle shear sensitive liquid, use of high pressure application. And uh, this type of uh, pump uses in the hydraulic circuits which uh, lift the very heavy weight from the ground. and 
it is used for high pressure application and it is used for variable viscosity application right so this type of pumps use different uh, applications like as a hydraulic crane and uh, your uh, jcb system this type of uh, first displacement pump are used in jcb actuating system and uh, these are two types basically these are two types of pump first one is rotate reciprocating pump and second is rotary pump reciprocating pump and the rotary pump so for this rotary reciprocating pump reciprocating pump is a one type of positive displacement pump works by the repeated back to back and fourth moment of either a piston plunger or with the help of diaphragm and they are also called the reciprocation they are also called the reciprocation type of pump so move to the next slide in the reciprocating pump here one uh, cylinder is stationary that contains a cylinder piston or plunger or any diaphragm and uh, in this piston pump the first stroke of the piston creates a vacuum in the piston type of pump reciprocating type of pump uh, piston creates the vacuum open the inlet valve this is the working of a piston pump only right so reciprocating pumps are three types first one is piston pump plunger pump and diaphragm pump then go to the piston pump this is a typical diagram of this piston pump for double x acting uh, in this type of piston pump this pressurization of liquid takes place in both side a piston moves from left to right it can pressurize this type of this amount of liquid if piston move right to left so it uh, pressurize this amount of liquid so this is <coughs> transmission of the fluid or gases under pressure this is the use of this piston pump is here and in the piston pump if i am going to description about this the first stroke of the piston creates the vacuum and opens the inlet valve closing the outlet valves right closing the outlet valves and draws fluid into the piston chamber as the motion of the piston reverses the inlet valve now under pressure is closed and the outlet valve open allowing the fluid contained in the piston chamber to be discharged and the bicycle pump is a uh, simple example for this type of pump and piston pumps can also be double acting so this is a double acting pump with inlet and outlet valves on the both side of this piston while the piston is, is in suction on one side it is a compression on the other and this is a very complex pump this is a very complex pump but it creates a pressure in the forward and reverse stroke also it creates a pressure in the forward and reverse stroke also for the power uh, here power consumption is very less for compared comparative to the work produce and it ensures the maximum safety right it ensures the maximum safety these are the some uses of this piston pump right and then uh, move to the different types of pump is here one more pump move to the next slide this is a plunger system pump here this is the plunger and uh, this uh, connected to the any mechanical device and which 
possess this fluid this blue type of uh, liquid this is the liquid right and uh, this is a single acting plunger type of pump and uh, <coughs> this plunger pump is similar act as a reciprocating pump a volume of liquid moved by the piston pump moved by the piston pump depends on the cylinder volume means how much amount of uh, liquid you send the hydraulic fluid this is depend on the piston volume right and uh, in a plunger pump is in a plunger pump the seal around the piston or the plunger is maintain the pumping action because once this is a seal right and in general a plunger pump seal is easier to maintain since it is stationary at the top of the pump cylinder where as the seal around a section and moving up and down inside the pump chamber right so this is a very good pump for the small application of work right and uh, its efficiency is for the advantage of this pump is here it have a very high efficiency it have a very high efficiency and is capable of developing very high pressure and uh, low and easy maintenance is required for this uh, plunger type of pump so here very less maintenance is required for this pump because only one reciprocating part is present here this is the this type of plunger right so and diaphragm pump and flexible diaphragm is used like as a rubber or thermoplastic or uh, sometimes it is a metal so this is a diaphragm type of pump and this is stored the energy when the main system is off when the main system is off and uh, and the diaphragm pump uses a flexible membrane uses a flexible membrane this is the flexible membrane instead of a piston or plunger to move fluid by expanding the diagram diaphragm the volume of the pump chamber is increased and fluid is drawn into the pump suppose if uh, this is contract then it sucks the fluid from this side and if it this is uh, expand then this uh, hole is uh, closed this is the inlet port and at this time it uh, pressurize the this fluid at the upper surface so it can produces pressure right and diaphragm pump have the advantage of being sealed system making them ideal for pump hazardous fluid and uh, these are the some advantages here it can be used to make artificial heart right this type of pump use as a artificial heart for the human being and uh, can handle high viscous liquid it handle the very high viscous liquid and it can handle toxic and corrosive liquid it can handle toxic and corrosive liquid and uh, this pump 97% efficient this pump is 97% efficient right so this is a one type of diaphragm pump then uh, next is the rotary pump this is a rotary pump in rotary pump the chamber moves from inlet to discharge and back to the inlet and in the rotary positive displacement pump are used the action of rotating cogs or gears 
to transfer the fluid from inlet to outlet and uh, here the rotating element develops a liquid seal rotating element develops a liquid seal with the pump casing and creates suction at the pump end and creates suction at the pump end and uh, fluid drawn into the pump is enclosed fluid drawn into the pump is enclosed within the teeth of its rotating cogs and gears are transferred to the discharge transfer to the discharge and the simplest example for the rotary displacement pump is the gear pump and uh, gear pump this is the basic example and some more pumps are here lobe pumps lobe pumps screw pumps cam pumps vein pumps and uh, in uh, all type of pumps most popular pump is only gear pumps and this is a relatively constant of gives the constant output so here are the different types of pumps and is this is divided into two groups first is the single rotor and the multiple rotor pumps first is the single rotor pumps and the multiple rotor pumps and and these gear pumps is also divided into two sub regions first is the internal gear pump and uh, another one is external gear pump internal gear pump and the external gear pump for the use this is the one type of gear pump here fluid is uh, comes to the inlet and pressurized fluid goes to the delivery to the outlet right and this is a one uh, driving gear and this is the one under driven gear and this is the cam is at, cam is attached here so these gears moves and provide a pressurized liquid for the hydraulic circuit for the hydraulic this type of gear pump is used in uh, jcb applications and uh, these are the internal gears right internal gear pump and this type of pumps and uh, it works on the same principle same principle of the locking mechanism but two interlock gears are the different size with one is rotating to another one rotating inside the other one here two gears are present suppose this is the first gear and this is the second gear and this gear rotates and this also rotates with the cams of so it pressurizes the liquid right it pressurizes the liquid by with the help of rotation right so this is a example of internal gear pump and the cavities between the two gears the cavities between the two gears are filled with fluid at inlet and the transported it around the discharge port transported it around the discharge port right so this is a one type of inlet gear pump or uh, and then uh, this is a one type of gear pump this is a screw pump here single screw rotor are present to drive the uh, drive the pump and with the help of this screw with the help of this screw uh, this fluid is pressurized right so this is the inlet of the fluid and here this is the outlet of the fluid and this is the elastomer stator right this is the elastomer stator and these are the single screw rotor and this is the universal coupling for the uh, drive the this is used to drive the pump right so 
this is a one type of one uh, uh, type of uh, positive displacement pump right this is a one type of rotary positive displacement pump then move to the low pump and uh, this is a low pump in this low pump just you see in this figure two loops are present two or two loops are present and this loops are moving alternate alternate type so suppose this is the first action and this is the second action so in this case the rotating elements are low instead of the gears gears and this is the great advantage of the design is that the lobes do not come into contact with each other during the pumping action so it reducing the friction friction rate of the wear and it reducing the wear and uh, contamination of and fluid shear right so basically it reduces the friction between the gear teeth and uh, this is a one type of vein pump used as a set of movable vanes and these vanes are spring loaded under hydraulic pressure are flexible lobes and these are mounted in of center rotor the vanes maintain a close seal vanes maintain a close seal against the casing wall and tapered fluid transport to the discharge port so here this is the suction port this is the suction port and the suction port suction port always behaves like as a low pressure region always behaves like as a low pressure region but in the outlet port this is the outlet port and uh, this discharge uh, or we can say that this is a discharging port and this discharging port behaves like, like as a high pressure region behaves like as a high pressure region is here right so these kinds of uh, pumps are used here and the next pump is and these are the different kinds of head related to the pump and uh, the term of head is used to measure the kinetic energy created by the pump means how much amount of uh, kinetic energy created by the pump this is measured by the head and uh, th these are the different types of head are used here F first one is total static head head first one is total static head the total static head when the pump is not running when the pump is not running this shows the uh, shows the total static head and <coughs> second is the static suction head which is the head due to the head on the suction with pump is off if the head is higher then the pump impeller right and the static suction lift this type of lift or head on the suction side with pump is off if the head is lower than the pump is uh, lower than the pump impeller and this is the static discharge head this is the head gives the information regarding head on discharge side of the pump with the pump off and dynamic suction head head or lift and head on suction side of pump with pump on and last one is dynamic discharge head dynamic discharge head shows the head on discharge side of pump with pump on right so these are the different kinds of head related to the uh pump categories this is a section of mcq problem and mcq problem here is the some uh, this is some question for the mcq problem here i have taken 
are 10 question for this lecture and this question related to the pump and uh, this is the first question and uh, centrifugal pump is a means uh, this is the blank uh, which shows the correct answer so here are the four uh, answer is given turbo machinery flow regulating device drafting device and intercooling device so what is the correct answer for this question just to think about this question i will give 10 seconds for this question and uh, in this 10 seconds i will give explanation about this uh, answer and the centrifugal pump is a one type of turbo machine device and turbo machine are the machine that transfer the energy between the rotor and the fluid including both turbines and compressor both turbines and compressors so it is a device which transform the energy means uh, transform the energy in the case of it convert the energy in the mechanical to the uh, hydraulic energy mechanical to hydraulic energy and in the case of turbo machinery turbo machine convert the energy which uh, convert in the case of uh, uh, in case of uh, mechanical to hydraulic energy or the pressure energy and in in case of uh, turbines which convert the uh, fluid power into the mechanical power so turbo machine comes from the one uh, turbines and pumps both so the correct answer of this problem is here a means centrifugal pump is a turbo machinery device right so, centrifugal pump is a turbo machinery device then uh, goes to the second question turbo machine work under from the newton's first law newton's second law Newton's th third, third law and the Kepler's law. Kepler's law gives the information about the uh, planet and orbital motion. Planet and the orbital motion. So Kepler's law, this is a very wrong answer for this question. What the next answer for this question is? Newton's first law. So all uh, turbo machines work as a momentum transfer device work as a momentum transfer device so <coughs> turbo machine work under newton's second law right newton second law in centrifugal pump is a turbo machine machinery and turbo machinery are the machine which transfer the energy between the rotor and the fluid including both turbines and compressor so it is a one type of mechanical device so the correct answer for this question is here newton's second law b is the current correct answer for the problem number two then move to problem number third the main fun function of the nozzle is to varying the temperature pressure variation load variation and the heat variation so the main function of the nozzle is to varying the pressure variation because the uh, nozzle is used to change the pressure inside the flow and uh, if any pressurized fluid passing through the nozzle it is done by the opening the shuttle <coughs> and set of nozzle thus its main function is to regulate the pressure so the b answer is right answer for this question it is the creates a pressure variation it creates a pressure variation inside this fluid and move to the next question question number four mcq problem for the fourth question the main function of the centrifugal pumps are the main function of the centrifugal pumps are transfer speed 
ट्रांसफर प्रेशर ऑप्शन सी ट्रांसफर टेम्परेचर एंड ऑप्शन डी ट्रांसफर एनर्जी द प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस सेंट्रिफ्यूगल पंप इज टू ट्रांसफर एनर्जी इज टू ट्रांसफर द एनर्जी एंड दिस एनर्जी जस्ट लाइक एज ए दिस काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू द प्रेशर एनर्जी एंड सेंट्रिफ्यूगल पंप इज ए टर्बो मशीन डिवाइस एंड दिस टर्बो मशीन आर मशीन दैट एनर्जी ट्रांसफर बिटवीन द रूटर एंड द फ्लूइड इंक्लूडिंग बोथ टरबाइन एंड कंप्रेसर बोथ टरबाइन एंड कंप्रेसर so this is a one kinds of energy transfer device so the correct answer is here d d is the correct answer for the the main function of the centrifugal are to energy transfer device d is the correct answer for this question right and the question number 5 centrifugal pump transfer energy from rotor to fluid fluid to rotor draft to rotor and rotor to draft so the correct answer for this question is here a rotor to fluid and centrifugal pump transfer energy from rotor to fluid the primary objective of the centrifugal pump to transfer the energy from the rotor to fluid and the centrifugal pump one kind of turbo machinery device so it transfer the energy from rotor to fluid right so a is the correct answer for this question and move to the next question question number 6 in the question number 6 which among the of the following control the flow rate first one is valve pump head tank pipe valve pump head and tank pipe so what is the correct answer a is the valve valve is the correct answer <coughs> for this question and uh, valve is uses flow rate of the tank is controlled by the valve and their actuation of the individual valve closes this correspond to the set of nozzles thereby controlling the actual flow with the help of valve so valve is the correct answer for this question so a is the right option the inlet passage of water entry is controlled by by the head race gate tail race and pump so the correct answer for this question is here gate means the inlet passage which is controlled by the gate means the inlet passage of this uh, water entry is controlled by the gate opening and uh, the gate opening is an opening that sends only a percentage of fluid through the inlet passages of water to enter the turbine right so this is the correct answer is here gate is the correct answer for this question this is the mcq question number 8 for the mcq question number 8 uh, which uh, parameter gives the velocity component at right angles to the particular direction to the particular direction so it means a for the correct answer of this question is here means uh, the stream function right gives the correct answer for this question is here stream line centrifugal pumps are used to transport the pressure speed power fluid used to transport the pressure right so this is the a is the correct answer for this question uh, and centrifugal pump transport fluid by converting kinetic uh, here four option is given kinetic energy to hydro hydrodynamic energy hydrodynamic energy to kinetic energy mechanical energy to kinetic energy and mechanical energy to hydrodynamic energy 
So centrifugal pump transport fluid by converting the kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy. So this is the correct answer for this question. Uh, 10th A. A part is correct answer. And then move to the we have used different types of references for this lecture. These are uh, belong to the engineering fluid mechanics KL Kumar, fluid mechanics and machine FM White, fluid mechanics and machine AK Jain, fluid mechanics VL Steeper MC Grahil, and fluid mechanics and application SK Gupta and V Gupta for the new age publication. So this is the these are the references of this book. So, thank you for the attention of this uh, lecture and thank you all of